Hey YouTube, it's Jennifer. Um, my week 55 video, I think. One month, or one year, one month post that video. Um, I weighed in today at 212.4, so I lost a pound. Um, not eating good. I've had a really, really rough week. I started my new job last Monday. Um, that day when I took my lunch break, I ended up getting in a car accident. Um, I'm okay, and my car is relatively okay. I was kind of, it was raining, and I don't know that area very well. It's in a totally different county for me, because I drive an hour to get to work and an hour to get home. So, I didn't know the area. It was raining. I got sideswiped, so... In the rain, it didn't look like there was anything wrong with my car. This kid almost didn't want to pull over. And then he finally pulled over. He didn't want to call the cops. He didn't want to exchange information. And I was just not, I was totally rattled. And so I never called the cops. Um, now that it's been like a week, my door, it's the driver's side, and the door pops when I open it. So there is damage. But I tried to file a police report after the fact, and they wouldn't do it because we both needed to be present, which I've never heard of before. Um, but anyway, so that happened on Monday. Tuesday, my grandma passed away. Um, so Wednesday, I was just kind of like out of it. So I got a half day at work because they could kind of tell that I wasn't really there. And then Thursday was the funeral. Um, and while we were at the church for the service, news spread very quickly um, that a young boy at the middle school that is exactly across the street from my apartment had gone in the bathroom and committed suicide. So it was like after the funeral and the burial, I came home and there were just news trucks everywhere and police cars everywhere and crying students everywhere. And it was like that all day. Um, Friday, things kind of calmed down, but I was totally depressed that day. Um, I wasn't doing well at work. I felt like I wasn't catching on. And so it was just a bad week last week. And as a side effect of that, my eating was just terrible. My eating Monday and Tuesday was okay, but by Wednesday, it was just like all I could do was eat. And I was eating a bunch of stuff I shouldn't eat. And I was like that Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And I know it was totally emotional eating, but, and I knew it at the time, but I know I'm responsible for my actions, but I was just like, I didn't care really. Because I didn't know what else to do. So I had a really rough week of eating. So the fact that I lost a pound at all is crazy to me. Um, I didn't exercise at all, even over the weekend. Because Saturday I just spent the day, you know, I did laundry. And Tori and I <clears throat> went out to eat for lunch because she spent the night Friday night. And um, then after I took her home, I just kind of chilled at home and took a really long nap. And... Sunday, I wasn't really home all day because Noah and I went to a house concert in Lansing, so I didn't get to exercise this weekend, and I don't have time after work because I get off work and I pick up Tori, and my sister doesn't pick her up till 11.30. So I didn't have time to exercise. My eating was terrible, so I will take the pound loss um, and just kind of roll with it. Um, some good things that happened this week after all that bad is Friday when I came home from work, there was a package at my door, and I wasn't quite sure what it was from, but um, Pam, or Pam, which I think on YouTube her name's Pamela's Journey. I'll have to look it up, and I'll put it below um, if you want to check her out. She's done really, really, really well on her journey, and um, I'm in a size 18, and she is way below that, so she had a lot of jeans in a size 16 and 18, and she mailed them to me. She gave them to me, and I had talked to her earlier that week about it, um, but it was a nice, nice gift to have. Um, hold on, hold on a second. What are you doing? Leave your stuff in there and go sit on the couch. It is late. Yeah, I understand that. Go lay on the couch. Anyway, I'm sorry. Um... So it was a really welcomed gift to get from her, and especially after the week I had. So 
I already said it, but thank you, Pam, once again, because that was really, really sweet and thoughtful of you. And I don't fit into the 16s yet. Most of them are 16s. Um, I don't fit in them yet, but give me a month. <laughs> give me a month and a half, two months, and I'll be there. Um, another thing that is weird is my taste buds are changing just now. Like, I know a lot of people have that right after surgery where their taste buds change and or like six months later, but I'm a year and three weeks out and it's just now where my eat my um, taste buds are changing. Like I had a, I tried to have a protein shake yesterday for breakfast and it was disgusting. Like absolutely disgusting to the point that I got up and I always have it with one percent milk and I actually checked the date on the milk because I was like this has to be spoiled milk or something and it wasn't. I just can't tolerate the taste of my protein anymore. Um, I get the Body Fortress chocolate from Walmart. Hold on a minute. Get on the couch. You can throw it away. What? You're going to have the egg. Go sit on the couch. I'm not going to tell you again. If I have to tell you again, you're going to go lay in the bed. Lay on the couch. You've got two seconds to lay on the couch, and I will spank your butt even on this camera. Don't think because I'm making a video that I'm not going to punish you. Go sit on the couch. Sorry. It's like 9.30. She should be in bed already. She took a nap, so she's not tired. Anyway, um, the protein shakes are disgusting. There was something else that I tried that I'm just like bummed that I can't eat anymore because it's just gross. So it's just weird that my taste buds are changing. Um, the good thing is, is that McDonald's chicken nuggets don't really taste good to me anymore. We had them today for dinner, and I was like, it was gross. But I shouldn't be eating it anyway, but I usually have it for lunch because it's 190 calories, and then I get the unsweetened iced tea with the Splenda, and that's fine. Um, I'm going to come sit with you in a minute, okay? Kids. Anyway, um... I really should go, and I need to go sit with her. Um, but I will say this before I go. I really regret ever going off the food plan. I really regret ever testing my boundaries. Um, I wish I had never done that, because now it's like I'm really having to battle. God, my cats and her. I'm really having to like battle with my eating and what I choose, and the cravings are back, and... I'm still emotionally eating, and it's just, the stuff's real. Don't go off the food plan. Don't test boundaries. Eat what you're supposed to eat. I know it's tempting, and it's hard, because usually you start testing after two or three months, and it's very close time-wise to when you used to eat like that, and then you couldn't anymore because of surgery. But eventually you will be able to eat more, and you will want to fall back into those bad habits, so just don't do it. Take my word for it, don't do it, because it's ten times harder afterwards, because um, you're afraid to gain the weight back, but you're still having the cravings and the things that you wanted to eat before, so I regret ever doing that. But anyway, um, I need to get the food back in order, and with work, hopefully I'll have a more steady eating schedule, I guess. Um, but anyway, I need to go because she's getting antsy and I should be laying with her so she can go to sleep. So I will talk to you guys all soon. Just wanted to do my update real quick. Um, hope you guys all have a good week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.